Quite off that. Roll cameras, roll sound. Let's hear all these great things. I heard you. Um. I kind of want to talk a little bit about kind of the setup that I got going because um, I know that I'm sure there'll be questions about it. Gear is always fun, right? So um, kind of going into this one, I was talking to Greg about getting this all set up. Um, he kind of wanted to know how I wanted to kind of set myself up. So um, I knew that in this fictional world, I'd be heading to you know the island where it's infested with dinosaurs, you know, tropical environment. Um, based on my experiences that I've had in the military um, and doing survival and different operations and that type of stuff, uh, I decided to kind of custom tailor my loadout based on kind of what I thought would be effective and useful uh, in these types of situations. So anyhow, uh, kind of starting from the very bottom, uh, we got our Solomon boots, right? Never can go wrong Solomons. I'm wearing uh, smart wool socks. I'm a huge fan of wool socks in all environments. Um, moving up from there, I'm running, wearing dry fire pants. I'm 81 as far as the camouflage is concerned. Um, we don't know a whole lot about how dinosaurs see, so I'm not sure uh, what camouflage would actually be the best. I figured that's something that would just blend well with terrain. I assume they had some type of vision closer to what we had or normal animals. So just any type of camouflage would work, but this kind of works for production that we're doing here. Um, moving up from there, I'm running, wearing a Vertex Guardian shirt uh, in their olive drab green color. Uh, I just wanted something that was a little bit more, uh, not kind of a predator feel basically is what I was going for. But also, button up shirts are really useful in jungle environments. You can really let yourself air out. Um, combat tops do work, but I found that mosquitoes bite through combat tops pretty easily. So I wanted to kind of stay away from that. Um, I am running the Haley Strategic um, Heavy Rig. And so I've got four uh, scar mags coming across here. I am running a compass right here, Linsatic compass, and behind that I have a emergency signal mirror. So I tried to set this up as if I was actually going into a survival situation where they had to survive out here for a while. Uh, I got two Glock mags because I am carrying a Glock and a Safari Land USN holster. It's a Glock 19 with a Surefire X300 light just as backup. Is it going to be really effective against larger dinosaurs? No, but smaller ones? Sure, why not? All right, in the main pouch right here I've got a headlamp of course with red light in case you need to use it. Got a Garmin GPS with maps loaded onto it. And finally, I have a Leatherman Wave because this is the best multi-tool in the world. It's been everywhere, so I'm a huge fan of it. So anyhow, that's what I have on my chest rig right here. I am running a experimental pack from Haley Strategic, which I'm not able to talk about. Sorry, guys. Uh, maybe at a later time, though. Uh, as far as my weapon is concerned, um, I talked with Greg about this a lot. Um, I figured for dealing with uh, any variety of dinosaurs out there, I wanted something a little bit heavier caliber and something that would be versatile. So we went with the Scar H. Um, this one being a CQC version, which is a 13.7 barrel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I do have an undermounted EGLM. We have 40 millimeters. 40 millimeter grenades right here on the bottom in case we need to deal with anything a little bit larger or we need to use different types of rounds. Um, on the top, we are running Holosun Optic Optics. This is a F503GU. Um, they're good optics, I'm a big fan of them, and we're running Holosun IR devices. Um, on the opposite side, I am running an Enforced Light. Wanted to give it a shot for this film, big fan of it. And finally, I am running a Haley Strategic Sling. It is um, somewhat modified, uh, which I'm sure will anger Haley a little bit. Just kidding, he doesn't care. But um, awesome sling, awesome products um, that I'm running here. Uh, big fan of everything that I've run. Uh, finally, wrist, what the hell's going on here? So I've got a Garmin Fortrex 401, which is a wrist-mounted GPS. Finally, have a Suto wrist compass. Love using them, it's just easy to find your cardinal direction. And finally, of course, my trusty G-Shock watch. So guys, that is my loadout, what I've got going, and kind of a little bit of the thought process going into um, why I picked what I picked. Uh, in any case, guys, um, this is just one small facet of something that we did for this film, so I hope you understand uh, how much time and effort went into this, and I really hope that you guys uh, love this film because we put a lot of heart into it. You know, something that I really love about doing this film um, is just the different minds that you have together. You have guys like Travis Haley, who's coming in with his input. Um, you have Shannon coming in with her input. She's uh, from We Are The Mighty uh, Air Force Vet. Um, and you have all these different personalities coming together and making something really interesting because you have this real world, good tactical experience with Travis Haley. You have this really good acting experience from some of the professional actors that we've pulled on board. And we've come together with something that I think uh, Hasn't really been seen in kind of the fan film world in a while. This is a, a crazy production, 65 days in the making, how we pulled this off, I don't know. But I think what I love about it the most are just people. We have a outstanding cast and crew and um, you know, coming together, just a ragtag group, and uh, it just ended up being amazing. Uh, probably one of the funnest experiences I've had in a long time. So uh, I'm sure we'll be doing more. So make sure you stay tuned. Hopefully uh, we're able to bring the cast and crew to the, together and 
you know, we keep doing more fan films and more things in different situations. You know, maybe Predators next. You never know. But uh, we definitely are getting that feeling. So, guys, again, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the film. Oh.